Hi, hi guys. So, this teaspoon turbine actually, it's working really well. I mean, it's it's almost what you would get from a turbine you would buy. And we made it from old teaspoons, which I think is just awesome. But there's some really good comments, and one particularly from Dave W. He said, Rob, you're cheating yourself, really, because the effective blade area is that bit. And I thought, yeah, I wish I could calculate that bit, but I, I, I know the issue I would get with it. And he said, don't be an idiot, Rob. Hence the hat. Just stick a cone on it. And I thought, Dave, that's brilliant, mate. So we're going to glue that cone on there. Then we get this effective blade area. In theory, we should get the wind sweeping past here. We should get a performance improvement. That is certainly an idea. So what I'm going to do is glue that cone on and we'll test it again. OK, so I've tried to keep all of the variables the same. So we've got the same distance. We've got the same wind speed. We've got the same load. It's this little blinking LED set here. Um, well, what else can you do? I've tried to keep everything the same. The only change that I've made is the addition of this cone. And I'm busy recording the milliamp reading so that you can see the milliamp reading. And in a minute, what we're going to do is we're going to change it, obviously, over to the volts reading. Now, it flickers round about 6 milliamps or so. So you should have got that from the um, view, and now we'll change it over to volts. <laughs> Look at that, hey? So now we've got the volt reading, which means it's connected in series. And we're dancing around sort of 7.7, 7, something like that. So 7.6. So let's say we got 7 volts out of it in 6 milliamps. It's probably undercounting it, but what the hey, let's say that. Okay, so because we kept everything the same, we can compare those results to the results that we got on the Welcome to the World of TNT video, where we did some without the cone. And here are those results. There's a couple of things to notice, hey? Um, the efficiency is at 30%. That's 30% of the BETS efficiency, incidentally. So it's 30% or 59%. I kept it there because that's what Omni Calculator suggested we do for an average kind of wind turbine, and it did okay. Now here's the results that we just got. Now you might notice that I've kept the blade length at the blade length that it actually is because the idea here is that it's the swept area of a blade that matters. It's the area, not the blade length. The blade length helps define the area that's been swept, but it's actually the area. So I've kept that the same because we're looking at the area of, uh, of wind that's moving across. Actually, it's the volume of the wind, which obviously is the area times the height. But that's what you're looking at when you're looking at this. So I've kept the blade length the same. Wind speed was obviously the same. The available power in that wind was uh, 91 watts. Now, we can't go up beyond 59 in that turbine efficiency thing. But if you have a look, I actually got about 42 uh, milliwatts out of this, which means that in order for that to be accounted for, this turbine must be 55% efficient. That's incredible! Just, just got a turbine with spoons and a dunce hat that is 55% efficient of the BETS efficiency. What that means is... This turbine's actually round about 93% efficient. So the build details of this are actually in video 1479, and it's really simple. I mean, it's a bunch of teaspoons glued to a plastic disc. That's all it really is. But jump onto 1479 and you get the full build details. Then all I did was make this cone out of sheet aluminium using a cone template. So I just put the figures in, and it gives me a pattern for the cone, which I cut out and glued on. This is 15 centimetres from its base to its height, and obviously the distance of the bottom base is the same as the teaspoons, only up to the lip of the teaspoon. So building it is a piece of cake. Now, I really genuinely think this is only suitable for home construction up to about two metres or so. You can imagine trying to build that cone 80 metres across. That would be one hell of a cone and probably weigh an absolute ton if you tried to stick it 100 metres up in the air. So it's suitable for home construction and for small scale. I don't think it's suitable for large scale particularly. But if you want to build it, that's how to go about building but, it. But uh, we've built a 93% efficient turbine out of old spoons and a dunce hat. And that really was uh, Dave W's suggestion. So, Dave, thanks for suggesting it, because, of course, we've now just shared that with everybody. And that idea is now clearly in the public domain. It's, it's available to anybody. Now, we have to be aware, OK? I mean, you know, this was done on my lab bench. It's done with a, a portable anemometer to get the wind speed. We uh, did volts and amps separately. 
but it was on a load, we did get a reading and we have a wind speed from here that we understand to be like a wind tunnel wind speed, okay? So it's a ballpark figure. What it's really telling us is that adding this cone dramatically improves the efficiency of this style of turbine. And it improves it so much that we're actually getting these, um, well, really quite impressive figures for the efficiency of that. And it would mean, really, to my mind, that it's something worth a, worth a further look at. It's something worth doing a bit more of investigation with some more stringent conditions so that we can say categorically that's 93% efficient. It's kind of with a pinch of salt, 93% efficient, because I'm doing it on my bench and, and not in particularly rigorous conditions, but it's still stunningly impressive for such a tiny addition to this style of turbine to get that kind of efficiency improvement. Now, 42 milliwatts is not a lot of generation, but there's not a lot of energy available there. The maximum, the energy in the wind power they're given here is, is um, I think it's about 90 something. What was it? Yeah, 91 milliwatts. So we've got 91 mill milliwatts and we're able to take out 42 milliwatts. So that's amazing, actually, actually amazing. So I thought I would share that with you because Dave W suggested it and I had a look at it and it certainly makes a massive improvement to it. So I hope that people are thinking about investigating this because in terms of, you know, the skills needed, the cost of constructing it, well, they're very minimal for any kind of wind turbine and I'm really pleased we got this kind of improvement and I wanted to share it with everybody. So. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.